Hey Floss Tube, it's Kate the Queen of Starts. It is Tuesday, November 7th, and I am here with a stitchy video. Lots of stitching to show you. Um, first off, I wanted to say if you were looking for a video that I mentioned that was two hours long, and you might have even left a question on there, it's gone. Yeah. YouTube and I had a fight one day, and YouTube won, and that video got deleted. Wasn't supposed to be deleted. I was trying to upload my last video, and it was saying that my two-hour video was processing. Don't know why it had been out, commented on, so I tried to delete the processing video. Yeah, okay, it deleted the whole video, and since I don't save them on my phone, it's gone. So if you left a question on there, I'm so sorry. I had full intentions of answering questions. I don't know if the comments are still there because the video isn't. The comments might still be there. I should go check that first. Anyway, like I said, I am taking a break. Maybe I didn't say it. I, this is the third take of this video because apparently I can't make a video in one take anymore. Um, I'm waiting for glue to dry on needle minder orders. So I figured I would take a little bit and show you my stitching. So let's go. I have stitching all over the bed. So trying to figure out what pile to start with. They're in absolutely no particular order because I didn't put them in any order. I just got them out. We'll start with starts. These are, I don't remember when I started these. I mean, I, I know when I started these, but I don't know to, to show you. So anyway, here we have peanuts all year long. I started November. Here's the picture. The November chart is Woodstock as a turkey. And I have this on 28 count white Monaco. There we are, top of his feathers. And my needle minder says, Happy Thanksgiving. It's from Minding My Minders. This one doesn't have a bag. I know I started this in October. I think most of these were October. This is Prairie Schooler Harvest Time. Now this is an older chart that was, I think it was discontinued for a while. So this is the reprint of it. If you haven't gotten one of the new reprint charts, it's paper, not cardstock. You know, I'm pretty sure I showed you this. It might have been in the last video that got deleted. So you may be seeing this for a second time. I don't know. I'm trying to get my stitchy area cleaned up so I can get back to regular videos once a week. I love making videos. I really do. It's a lot of work. So truly when um, you hear, you know, you haven't seen people in a while or people have made the decision not to make any videos anymore. I can relate. I really do because it's a lot of work. I enjoy it. I still enjoy it. So while I am enjoying it, I'm going to keep making videos. I don't watch them ever, but my kids watch them. Okay, the small child watches them. But you know what? When I'm not around anymore, they can still watch the videos. Anyway, Harvest Time, Prairie Schooler. I started this one right here, The Village. I really don't know if that's what it's called. Yep, it is. So this is on 18 count, I think. No, maybe not. I don't know. It's Ada. It's hand dyed Ada in goldenrod from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is one of the pieces I purchased when I went to the Floss Tube Retreat. So there is the start of one of the buildings and being Prairie Schooler, I subbed out some of the colors um, because I never liked their color choices. And my needle minder is a little scarecrow kitty from Needle Attractions. 
I need to get a bag for that stuff. This, I know, I, I know I started this, whatever the third Saturday of October was, because I started it after I got home from Stitch Niche. This is Long Dog Sampler Opus 1. And there is an Opus 2. Um, I, I, I just love that look right there with the blue fabric and the white floss. So that's what I'm doing, except it's not really white. So first off, my fabric is 18 count. Um, this has a name. Indigo. There it is. I knew it wasn't denim, but I knew it was somewhere in that that line. It was an it's an indigo Ada. And you can see it in person. It doesn't show up in pictures yet or the video because it's just a very small start at the top. But my floss is not actually white. It'll show up better when I get more of the piece done. It is Threadworks. 10 1007 and it has it doesn't really even show up here but it has very very subtle blue and pink and green running through it so my needle minder came from the everyday stitcher Okay, this was a couple weeks ago. I know it was a Friday. See, I don't have my notes in front of me, so I don't know what day. But I remember it was a Friday because the chart, one of these, okay, I'll start, I'll show this one first. Um, this was released that day. This is uh, Doreen Jones. Uh, Doreen has, well, she has a fabulous Etsy, Etsy shop and she's super sweet. And she comes out with freebies every Friday. Well, this was one of the freebies on Friday. And as soon as I opened it, I said, oh, I have to stitch it. I don't have a picture of it. I just have the chart. But it's called Halloween Cat. And it is this pear-shaped black kitty cat wearing a witch's hat with two pumpkins. One on each side. One uh, has a spider on it. One has a mouse in front of it. Or a rat. I don't know. But it's just so cute. All of four colors, five colors in the entire thing. Technically five because there's a couple of white uh, French knots. But that's the only time the white is shown. So I grabbed my... I printed it. I grabbed some floss. I grabbed a scrap piece of fabric and a needle minder. And I started stitching. This is 14 count hand dyed Ada from Dying for Cross Stitch. Yep, okay, making sure I left the tag on that one. It has this really pretty mottled brown, but that is, that is just below the cat's collar and down working on his body. Now he's gonna be a little wider than the chart calls for because the very first line I discovered when I was about down here, that this line is one too many. I sure was not frogging the whole thing. So I said, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make that work. So he's a little fatter than he is in the picture. My needle minder is a Freddy Krueger uh, Hello Kitty from the Everyday Stitcher. So that was one of my starts. The other start from that Friday was Through the Eye of a Needle by Linda Myers. Just a very pretty chart. Love it. And it says, Through the eye of a needle between time and space, a beauty is created at a leisurely place. Blocking out daily worries, laying problems aside, through the eye of a needle I safely reside. Isn't that the truth? So I'm doing this on 28 count Jobelin in lamb's wool. And I immediately made a, a floss change 
because it called for ecru. All of this, this that looks white, it calls for ecru. No, that was not showing up on my fabric at all. So I swapped it for, I think I just swapped it for plain white. I thought about doing winter white. Yeah, this is just plain white. Um, and even that wouldn't have shown up. Helps if I turn it around. It's pretty big. Um, I think I could cut off like maybe an inch at the top and bottom, but that's about it. Wasn't even worth cutting it off. Oh, this is the bottom. Eventually, I'm going to get this right. <sighs> so anyway, this is the start of the border around the bottom picture part. Well, you can't see it. Okay, so yeah, you can see the white on the lamb's wool. And it's very pretty. It's very subtle, but it's there. And my needle minder says, I myself am made entirely of flaws stitched together with good intentions. And that's from True North Needle Minders. I have the chart that says that too, from Kathy Barrick. Let's pull that, start kidding that up. Yeah, with uh, 2018, less than, what pile was I pulling from? Um, less than two months away. I'm in full kit on mode for 2018's starts. All right, this is Heaven and Earth Quick Stitch Cowardly Lioness from Hannah Lynn. I'm on track to get all of this series and the Alice series started this year. So that's what she looks like. And all of these I'm doing the black first and then fill in because the fill in is all confetti. So it's going to be a lot more manageable once all the black lines are done. Okay. I have a couple of needle minders here. It's the Cowardly Lioness. So I have Fear from Brenda's Minders and More. I have the Brave Little Toaster from um, the Everyday Stitcher. This is not the correct needle minder. I have the correct one on my fridge, but I have two that look the same. They're these little silver squares. And the one that's supposed to be on here says, you can't scare me, I have kids. But anyway, that's from True North Needle Minders. But that's the start. And that's that, that little part right up there with her hair. That's uh, 28 count white Monaco, and I stitch those two over one half stitch most of the time. Okay. Yeah, see, some of these I know were very recent. Yeah, my stitchy bug is well on, well and healthy and back, and because I, yeah, I'm back to, I want to start all the things, and I want to work on everything at once, and so, got a lot of stitching done in the last six days, seven days, today's the seventh. Um, my goal for this month is to start 50 items, and I'll, I'll mention that in a little bit if you don't know why. I'm sure you have if you've seen my Instagram posts or if you've seen my mania posts. You know why I'm starting 50 items this month. But I know this was a start this month. This is Lizzie Kate's Six Fat Men series. And yep, okay. It was Snow Fun that I started. I have five of them started. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can count five. So I have one more to start. But I'm doing them all on 14 count uh, smoke tone Ada. So you can see where I have the others started with the borders. So there's, that was all the border on Snow Much Fun. And so I actually got a little bit of the snow done in the half hour I give my starts. So this 
Little Fat Snowman is from Brenda's Miners and More. And this is going to go in the whip pile here in a minute. Is that it? I think that was it. Yeah, okay, so those are all whips. Oh. Okay, this one's going to be... Oh, let's see. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. All right, so those were starts for October, maybe the tail end of September, but I think it's mainly October. So these are my whips from October. This is Happy Pumpkin, no. Yeah, Happy Pumpkin Spice Season from Lindy Stitches on Etsy. It's an electronic chart. And it, it just says Happy Pumpkin Spice Season. This is on 18 count oatmeal Ada. And I finished the N in pumpkin and got the S and part of the P done. So moving on right along on that. Let's go ahead and sing the song from the Muppets. Uh, pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice is what my needle minder says. And that's from True North Needle Minders. And I, that's why I keep trying to call this chart. But that's not what the chart is called. This is Halloween Cat. I know this piece, at the end of October, um, I started a stitching challenge over on the Ultimate Cross Stitch group. And it's called Froggy Bingo. Having a lot of fun with that. Um, every day we get a different stitch count. And so we post our before picture, after picture. And every day that changes, and once the, we get, I think it's till November 19th or 20th, um, we have until then to get all of our days done. I think we get one makeup day if we need it. But anyway, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a bingo game. So we're trying to fill up the, fill up the board. This is Halloween Cat from Satsuma Street. So this was one of my pieces I pulled out and worked on for whatever number of stitches was called for that day. So this is on 28 count glass blue Monaco from Charles Craft. So mad that Hobby Lobby doesn't carry this anymore. Um, but there I finished, I finished this blue, uh, these blue here, added this blue up here, this blue down here. That's actually two different shades of blue. Um, started on the purple branches. Actually, yeah, two different shades of blue. There's a third shade of blue there. But yes, worked on the tree some more. And my minder is a blue Cheshire cat from True North Needle Minders. So yeah, that was that was a whip for Froggy Bingo. This whip was, it was part of my uh, stitching for every member counts in Ultimate Cross Stitch, but it was also for the bottom stitch along in Mania. I have a spare needle. Um, Rupert's here, by the way. Rupert is chilling in his new home. I just picked this up the other day. So he's trying it out to see if it'll be a good orc cup. So he's he's hanging here with me. So he's going to hold that needle for me. He's tired. I've been I've been putting him through the through the ringer lately. He's been he's been helping me kit up projects. He's been helping me stitch. He's been working hard. So he's he's kind of resting right now in the cup. But anyway, I worked on this for um, the Autumn Stitch Along in Stitch Mania. This is Frosted Pumpkins Autumn Sampler. I probably have a picture. I do. Did you know it helps if you take the paper clip 
off your pile of papers before you attempt to separate them. It really does. Anyway, autumn sampler. I'm still working on borders. Um, I am using Mo's Sale Cotton in apple cider and this one didn't get bobbinated but it's called Mozart I think I think it's called Mozart they're similar but different which are which is what the two colors that are originally called for are on the border so that's why I went with them But this is another piece of 14 count smoke tone Ada. And I did these three uh, borders, these two, these three here, and these two here last month. So lots of borders there. And my needle minder says happy fall. That's from minding my minders. the wrong pile. This one I pulled out just because I didn't work very much on it because it made me mad and it got put back in the bag. But this is the Halloween Motif Pumpkin by Alessandra Adelaide. This was in the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. I'll give you a number in a minute once I figure it out. 2012. So the 2012 Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. This is on 14 count Grasshopper Ada. It's another random needle, although it wasn't really random. I think I did more reverse stitching on this than actual stitching. But there we are. Now I had this centerpiece done and I had this part stitched to here so there's that but you, you see the shadow yeah I so I started here stitched all the way around then realized it was not lining up and so yeah my mistake was back here so I'm still frogging so yeah I frogged half of it had said a few choice words and it went back in the bag so by the time I'm done here, I think I will have put in like 30 stitches in it. Anyway, I like my needle minder. It's a purple pumpkin from Nifty Needle Nannies. So yeah, this pumpkin went in the timeout drawer. It might come back out next year. Or whenever I'm in a Halloween mood again. This piece here. I worked on it at the retreat. I also worked on it just a couple times this month just because it was calling to me. This is America Land That I Love from Jean Farish. I bought the PDF copy from her Etsy shop. It's an older chart. I don't care. I love it. It's huge. This is 18 count oatmeal Ada. But it's so cool. It says America at the top. And land that I love at the bottom. And then there's a little square for every one of the 50 states. So I worked on it some more. I finished the A and the M. Did more of the blue around them. So my needle binder is a sparkly Mickey Mouse love from the Everyday Stitcher. So it'll take me a little while to finish that top border. Um, the little squares are just so cute, and they're really simple. A lot of back stitching, but they're fun. Next up is the class schedule stitch along from Armada Designs. I started off really well. Haven't picked it up lately. But this is the fabric. This is 28 count. Uh, Blueberry Cobbler from Fabrics by Eljek. 
And I got the words done at the top, class schedule. I did that in Classic Color Works Queen Bee. And I got the first block done. There's going to be uh, 12 blocks. It starts January 1st is when we get uh, the fill-in for the first block. So I have 12, uh, 11 more blocks to do. And each one will be a different class from Hogwarts. So this one I did in Krynik. I already put it away. Each one's going to be a different Krynik. Each, you know, of the tw all 12 are going to be different. This one is just kind of a purpley blue. I already put it away or I'd give you the number. So. My needle minders are a Harry Potter Pusheen from Nifty Needle Nannies. And an Akio, Asio, however you pronounce that, needle, needle minder from um, Armada Designs themselves. I did pick up some new Krynik recently at Stitch Niche, so I gotta get back on working on those get those blocks done. Actually, I only have 10 more to do because the October one, um, she asked us not to work on that because it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be the standard uh, square. So. All right. Last month, again, for uh, full coverage fanatics and for every member counts. Okay, full coverage fanatics is its own group. Every member counts is a stitch along in Ultimate Cross Stitch. I worked on Mini Black and White Road Through Trees from Artisy. I think this also uh, was worked on for Zombie Stitch Apocalypse in Cross Stitch. It's fun. But I got a lot done on this last month. I think I got about 600 stitches done. It's all of nine colors, I think. So it's on 14 count white Ada. Not very big. But it's it's pretty cool because I'm starting to see trees. So it's one of those things you, you, you're just stitching along and suddenly you realize it's actually a recognizable shape. So my minders are all owls and they're all from Brenda's Minders and More. So three there and one here. Hello, sugar. Can, can I help you? Please don't jump on the bed. Please don't. No. Hello, s'mores. Hello. What? What? What can I help you with? Do they need to go out? They just came in. Okay, so apparently they just came in to say hi. Don't get on the bed, guys. Not right now. There's stuff everywhere. I know this came out for a one of the Froggy Bingo uh, stitch count days. This is it's called Berries, Birds, and Blooms, and it's from uh, Blue Ribbon Designs. But it's from the Just Cross Stitch issue, March April twenty eleven. So that's what the cover looks like. That's what the piece looks like. Isn't that pretty? I like their designs because they a lot of them have the little boxes. Like Blue Jeans and Daisies. Um, that's another one. Garrett Coffee Stitcher is working on that one this month. Um, I have that one started. But each little, bo each little box is like a mini finish. So it's nice. This is 18 Count Ada from... Pretty sure this one is from Fantasy Dyed Fabrics. Might be 16 count. It's either 16 or 18. But here is the fabric and it's sideways. That's not going to help anybody. So I had these two potted plants done on this side. So I just did, this is part of the tree, and I did more of the little pots on the other side. 
So a lot of a lot of the ones for the froggy bingo, they're they're small amounts, but hey, every stitch counts. My needle minder is a pretty tree from Delicious Threads. Marshmallow stuck in the garage again. Every time I open that door to go switch out laundry, that cat is there. And apparently gets bored of playing in the garage very quickly. Sugar, honey, you cannot get on the bed yet. I'm sorry. I know. I'll let you on the bed again soon. I know. All right. This was for uh, Stitch Mania's Travel Around the World South. This is Pretty Little London from Satsuma Street. And I worked on this a few days. This is 14 Count Antique White Ada. My needle minder is a double decker bus from Nifty Needle Nannies. And I did all of this yellow and all of this blue. I did all of this pink. So a couple colors. That brings us to this month. So like I said, for this month I'm doing my 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 big thing other than the froggy bingo. Don't fall. Other than the froggy bingo, there's my water. Um is the uh, nano stitch mo. I got it right, I think. In Mania. So it is based off of the writing challenge, N-A-N-O-W-R-I-M-O, NaNoWriMo, where writers challenge themselves to do 50,000, to write 50,000 words in a month. So Katie and Garrett have kind of twisted it, tweaked it to make it a stitching challenge. And it can be anything as long as it has something to do with the number 50. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing 50 starts in November. So most that means most days in November get two starts. I'm doing 50 stitches on a random whip chosen each day. And that's really random. I mean, I stick my hand in the box and I pull it out. Now, I do, I, there have been a few I've put back only because 50 stitches, you're not going to see a difference between the two, you know, before and after pictures. So I'm trying to stick to pieces that you'll see a noticeable difference. So I'm doing the 50 starts, 50 stitches, and then I have, uh, I chose a whip as my focus piece for the whole month. I'm going to stitch on it 50 minutes each day. Now I have doubled up a couple times already in the first week because if there's just not enough time in the day to do 50 minutes on a piece, you know, there are some days I just don't get that much stitching time in. So as long as I'm, basically my thing is if it averages out to 50 minutes a day. So I've been doing that and then my froggy bingo. So I have stitched a lot in the last seven days, which is great. I'm enjoying it. I know we went camping this past weekend and I did not get as much done as I wanted to, but you know, that's okay. I still enjoyed it. So. These are my starts. I believe this is the start pile. I think so. Yep. Okay. Anyway, this was today's start. My goal is to do one more start for today, but I have not done my 50 minutes on my focus piece yet. So we'll see. I have not been feeling well. October was a rough month health-wise. November is not shaping up to be that great either because I live in Texas and the weather changes every couple of hours. You know, we've been starting our days in the 40s. We go up to the 90s and then back down to the 40s. So just absolute murder on my body. Just, oh, anyway, stitching. This was... I didn't know there was a little... Cool. 
there's there's a there's a second little chart in here. I didn't know that. I just got this. I bought this from uh, Needleworks in Coppers Cove when I went to the Floss Tube Retreat in October. So I just got this. Uh, so I pulled this out. This is my big toe. I'm a stitcher. And it says, I'm a stitcher and I hoard. Can't even close the closet door. Under the bed, in the drawers, taking over all the floors. Fabric buttons, scissors too. Pins and needles, less won't do. Charts and threads, here and there. It's overflowing everywhere. I should stop. I really should. But do not think I ever could. I'll stitch it all before I die. It may kill me, but I'll try. I'm a stitcher and I hoard. To stitch an X is my reward. So... I love it. Anyway, I'm doing this on, this is another piece I picked up from Leslie um, and her traveling LNS under the sea fabrics from the, uh, she came to the Floss Tube Retreat. I enjoyed just meeting her, so that was fun. But I bought this piece of fabric. This is 20 count gold Lugana in Christmas in Williamsburg. Sparkle, sparkle. But, um, I bought one of the, uh, a couple weeks ago, Dinky Dyes had their Oops packs. If you, and I was, I was quite pleased with it. Um, you get 20. Um, they're just, they're little. It, they're like, an Oops pack is just leftover bits of their Dinky Dyes floss. Um, yeah, I think it's eight meters. It, it's just a little bit. But it's 20 different colors you get. And actually, she was very sweet. She threw in a couple extras too but it's nice because you get to try dinky dyes i mean i've used dinky dyes so i love it but you get a nice little assortment of colors but um so i decided i'm going to be stitching this in all the different colors of dinky dyes not all the different colors but at least these 20 and well whatever shows up on the fabric but each word's going to be a different color of Dinky Dyes Floss. So I started that this morning and I got the word threads done. That's Dinky Dyes um, Pindy, Pindy, P-I-N-D-I. And then I started doing the, there's an and symbol here. And that's goldfish. My needle minder says when the going gets tough, the tough gets stitching. That's from True North Needle Minders. Need to put this in a better bag. Just have it in the bag the chart came in, which is all well and good for the chart, but throw in fabric and floss and there's just not enough room. Anyway. Okay, this, this might have been, I think this was in October, but that's okay. This is uh, Clouds Factory's um, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I've had this chart forever, and I was watching it almost every day, every other day for Halloween. And so I said, why haven't I started this yet? So this is a 28 count Monaco from Dying for Cross Stitch, I think. I think it came from Dying for Cross Stitch. But that is the start of Sally. So, Clouds Factories, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I have a Jack and Sally Pony Needle Minder from the Everyday Stitcher. Itchy nose. What did Sherry say? The it floss tube itchy nose syndrome. All right. This is Quick Stitch Scarecrow. I showed you the Cowardly Lioness. This is the Scarecrow. Same thing. It is on 28 count white Monaco. Two over one half stitch. I'm doing all of the black first. Yep, come back here. So there we are. There's the start. And my 
blue pumpkin needle minder is from True North Needle Minders. Still got an itchy nose. Oops, wrong pile. Try again. Okay, these were October because I started these with Molly from the Everyday Stitcher. We had a start-a-thon one Tuesday, and we started three uh, uh, three charts in one day. So this was October. Um, well, okay, I have an extra. I have an extra magnet from somewhere. But this is a mini Simply Meant to Be from Heaven and Earth Designs. I don't have a picture. I think when I started it, I was just starting it on my phone because it was just a little corner that I was stitching. But this is 28 count Dove Gray Monaco. And this is the start right here. So there's some black and some white. So this is the mini. And I have three, five, I can count. I have five needle minders on here because I can. And it'll hold my threads when I'm parking them. Um, but I have the Sally Hello Kitty. And, oh, hang on, where is he? There's Jack. And then there's Jack and Sally together. And those came from the Everyday Stitcher. Then I have Skellington Coffee from True North Needleminders, and I have a Steampunk Jack and Sally from Nifty Needle Nannies. Sugar, go bathe yourself elsewhere. Sugar, sugar, wait. Dog thinks she's a cat. second piece we started was Who's There from Satsuma Street. Well, I know this was after the retreat because I bought this at the retreat. This is 18 count opal, opalescent Ada in Dreamsicle, which is a discontinued color from Under the Sea Fabrics. It is just so pretty. I love Dreamsicle. I got it when it was fabric of the month and so I just love it. But this is the start of who's there. So that's the start of the branch. It has the owls on it. And my needle minder is a Halloween owl on a headstone from Nifty Needle Nannies. What's the matter, sugar? I, I know you want to get on the bed. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I got stuff everywhere. All right, the third piece we started. Now, the funny thing is, I haven't started a, a full-size hade in a long time. Most of my hades that I've been starting this year are um, quick stitches or minis, story keeps. But, uh, you know, with the exception of my, my super size that I started January 1st, uh, most of them have been manageable size. So it was quite funny when I, I cut the fabric for this one, because this is full size uh, Welcome Home by uh, Sherry Gearhart. I'm probably butchering that. But it's the one with all four of the symbols, the house symbols from Hogwarts. It's fan art, it's not officially. Anyway, but yeah, I forgot how big a piece of fabric is for a full size Hade. It was quite funny. But this is the same fabric, it's 28 count dove gray. Monaco. Started up in the corner and it's just black. It's going to be black for a while. So my minders, let's see, we have the Mirror of Erised from Needle Attractions. We have a Harry Potter Owl from Cassie's Needle Minders. I have a Harry Potter Hello Kitty from the Everyday Stitcher. And I have Always from no more lost needles. Good 
big piece of fabric. But yeah, I think the the first page has the recolors. Black, 3371, and 814. That's it on the first page. So I'll make for some quick stitching. Um, I started a bunch of haids in October, too, because the Full Coverage Fanatic, uh, September and October, because Full Coverage Fanatics, um, all of their stitch-alongs start at the end of December and run all through next year, so I wanted to have as many options as possible. One of these days I'm actually going to count how many Full Coverage pieces I have. Hmm. Have started. Maybe I shouldn't do that. The number might scare me. Sugar, honey. You're not a cat. You're going to lick a hole through your skin. You're a dog, hon. Alright, this one is from Heartstring Samplery, and it's called Four, Sp Four Spacious Skies. Yeah, I know it's the fall. I don't care. I love this. I love Heartstring Samplery. But this is 28 count Jobelin in April Showers from Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. What did I down to? No, wait, this isn't, I know what it was. I thought it was 28 and so I didn't cut it down and then I realized it's actually 32 count, which I can see if it's a light color. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of fabric left over when I'm done. Which, you know, it's okay. Maybe I'll turn it into a pillow. Well, I won't turn it into a pillow. I'll pay someone else to turn it into a pillow. Because I can't sew. Um, I changed up the colors again just because I have them. And wanted to use some floss in my stash. And I just, I wanted some, I know it's a prim chart, but I wanted some different colors. So I'm doing the words in Gentle Arts Harvest Moon. And the house is going to be General Arts Apple Cider when I get there. So, but I did get the word skies done. And my needle minder is a blingy Texas from Delicious Threads. Next up, remember I told you I love blue ribbon designs. This is Red Velvet Building Blocks from Blue Ribbon Designs. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. You know me and my alphabets. But it's funny, the blocks... Yeah, the blocks themselves and the letters are over two, but each of these little pictures for each letter is over one. So had to be done on even weave, which I'm okay with. But this is 28 count Jobelin in Pink Dahlia. I picked that up at my LNS. Lovely color, very pretty pink. So I started the first block. Um, I'm going to be doing this. Each block is going to be in different shades of greens and browns of Splendor Silk from Rainbow Gallery. So, haven't decided if I'm going to use different shades in each block or if it's just going to be one color. Haven't got that far yet. But I have a blingy Super Grover from True North Needleminders. We watch a lot of Sesame Street around here, and Grover is always talking about letters. Okay, so that was, yeah, those were a couple from this month, mostly from last month. Yeah, I think this got put in the wrong pile. It did. Okay. Well, that would explain a lot. Okay, these are the rest of my starts. With the exception of this one, all of these were in November. Okay, this one I started on Halloween. 
This is this is a free chart. Um, I actually I bought a blue ribbon designs chart off of Etsy from a shop, and they included one of the it's one of the little um, like printout charts that uh, yeah permission to is given to shops and guilds to copy and distribute. It's one of those they don't sell the chart but they give it to shops to to distribute and as a gift. So this is from Cherry Wood Design Studios, and it's one of their dictionary charts. Um, I can show you the top. Beep, see, it's Halloween. Halloween. And it says, Halloween, the eve of October 31st, observed by children in costumes to solicit treats by threat of minor pranks. And I picked this up at my LNS um, a couple months ago because it's just pretty. And I knew I'd find something perfect for it. And I did. This is 28 count Lugana in candy corn from Fiber Fabric Flare. But I bought this at my LNS. So, and yeah, the whole thing is just going to be stitched in black. So I have the start of Halloween there. And my needle minder is some crazy dancing ghosts from Stitching Time Creations. I love this daylight savings time. It's five o'clock. It's getting dark. And my stomach tells me it's dinner time, but it's not. Okay. Cheerful. All right. So we are on to November. I know these, these aren't in any particular order. I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Um, this is the, I always get it jumbled. The Scrap Happy Crazy Quilt Stitch Along from Carolyn Manning. And this one, this one is just going to be so much fun. Of course, I love all of her, all of her designs. But this one, uh, you actually get, you get four blocks a month um, of different shapes. Because it's going to be a crazy quilt. But you're actually given four different stitching options for each block. So you can decide what yours is going to look like. Oh, of course, I had the crazy idea to stitch it. I loved all of them, so I wanted to stitch the whole thing. All four options for each block. But I realized I wasn't alone. There are other people that have talked about it. I don't know if they've started it. i got to check. But Carolyn, being the fabulous person she is, went ahead and charted it out for us. So she did all of our stitchy math so we know how big of a piece of fabric to use and where to start each of our four blocks. So very exciting. Ends up being pretty big. This is 18 count oatmeal Ada. So yeah, pretty big. I think it's 20. It's 20 by 20. So with border ended up being 26 square. But this is the start of the first number one block. And my needle minder. That one is from No Name Needle Minders. I am the Queen of Starts, so I like my Queen of Hearts minders. And I have a blingy pair of scissors from Delicious Threads. So I'm going to pull this out and work on it again. And um, same as uh, with a lot of Carolyn's quilt designs, um, I try to stay in the same family, but I almost never use the same colors. I try to make them just stash busters. And really don't. I know I started this this weekend. That was Friday, Saturday. These were Sunday. See, there's only seven days this month. You think I'd remember? I showed you one. Three, four, five. This was yesterday's. I feel like I'm missing something. I know I am. I just don't know where it is. Oh, oh well. Anyway. Yeah. I know I did two on November 1st. And... Nope. Anyway, it's here somewhere. I'll find it. Anyway, I know this was my start from Friday. This is 
Jeremiah Junction. It's called Seasoned with Love. And I've been starting, I started these four little, these four little bitties in the, in the middle. But I'm going to finish mine as uh, squares. So I did spring and summer. So Friday I started the fall pumpkin patch one. And it's on 14, not 14, 18 count oatmeal Ada. This is not black. It's actually 939. Super dark blue. Looks black, but it's not. So that's her apron. And I have a little scarecrow needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Okay, Saturday. I started Bookcase to Heaven. This is no longer available. The shop is not there anymore. But it's a cross-stitch fantasy, and it's Bookcase to Heaven. And I'm starting this on... I know a lot of people don't like this fabric. I don't have a problem with it if it's full coverage because the way I see it, you know, they may not be square stitches. They're most likely going to be kind of like when you stitch on linen, just kind of wonky. Okay, I think it's wonky when you stitch on linen. A lot of people love linen. I don't. That's me. Anyway, this is 28 count. They call it Antique White uh, Monaco from MCG Textiles. I like to think of it more of like an oatmeal. Anyway. Uh, this one is one over one on 28 count, simply because when I started this, I tried to do the two over one half like I do with a lot of my others, and the weave is too loose. I didn't like the coverage, so um, two over two is way too thick on 28 count, so I ended up doing one over one, which is fine, but a little bit of the 3371 there in the top corner. My needle binders. We have Little Red Riding Hood. Made that one myself. We have Harry Potter. That's from Nifty Needle Nannies. Jack and the Beanstalk. Made that one myself. And Green Eggs and Ham from True North Needle Minders. Sunday was a two start. I started a quick stitch Mad Hatter from Hannah Lynn. You saw the others that were from the Oz line. This is from the Alice line. There's the Mad Hatter. I think I already have of um, Cheshire Cat, um, Queen of Hearts. That might be it. So I think I still have the white. Maybe I started the white rabbit. I'm not sure. Um, I know I haven't started Alice. So same thing. 28 count white Monaco. Two over one half stitch. Stitching all the black first. This one took some, some counting. I, I, luckily I had my counting pins. Because the black does not start until stitch number 40. So I had to count over. And triple count just because. So there's the start of some black there. Needle minders. We have Mickey Minnie in a teacup from Needle Attractions. And we have We're All Mad Here from Ness's Needle Minders. Okay. I also started the library from I really feel like I had two yesterday. Maybe I did. Anyway, from Little House Needleworks. And this is on 28 Count Lugana in Oaken from Picture This Plus. I 
actually a lot bigger than I was really surprised when I opened it. Um, it's a lot bigger than I, I imagined. But there's the start of the center door. And right now, yeah, I'm pretty much using the called for Crescent Colors on this one. So that's the Brandy Pears that I have a Little House on the Prairie book from Nifty Needle Nannies. I have a key from Brenda's Minders and More. And I have a Dr. Seuss quote. It says, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Um, that's from No Name Needle Minders. <clears throat> losing my voice. I'm losing my voice a lot lately. Much to my family's joy. Okay, yesterday's start. You already saw today's. Yesterday's start was Have Faith. It is a Design Works kit. So it's on 14 count white Ada. No, I left the needle in that for a reason. So there is the start of the bird. And my needle minder says, God bless this hot mess. And that's from True North Needle Minders. So those are all my starts from October and November. Like I said, I think that some of those were, were a tail end of September. So whips. Said some of these were um, whips for Froggy Bingo. Others were whips for um, Nano Sti uh, Stitch Mo. So. I remember one day we already had a froggy bingo where it was 50 stitches. So I, I really do try not to double dip. I try not to take my uh, 50 stitches. I do my 50 stitches on one whip and then what I use for froggy bingo are, is a different whip. So this one I pulled out for nano stitch mode. This is Stitching Days from Little House. No, I'm sorry. Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is on 14 count Ada in... Peaceful from Fabrics by LJ. So that's what the whole thing looks like. I had the word fabric done and I swapped out the called for green. It calls for, well, it says it calls for a much lighter green, um, but the picture looks like a very dark green. So that's what I stitched it with. And then I think it calls for ecru. No. No, no, no. It calls for what? Okay, it just calls for regular white around the each of the little things, but I'm using ecru. So yeah, I did the frame around fabric. Almost did the frame around fabric. You can see it's a couple stitches shy because I stopped at 50 stitches. All right, my needle minder says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy stitching supplies. And that's from True North Needle Minders. Okay. This one was a 50 stitch for Nano Stitch Mo. This is Sue Hillis. I think it's called So Many Quilts. So Many Quilts, So Little Time. And this is on 28 count Tea Dyed Monaco from Charles Craft. Another one I'm angry that um, Hobby Lobby doesn't carry anymore. Just a little piece because it's a little chart. So I finished the green block here and I started the white stitches in the center. 
it calls for 746, but I'm using 712. And, you know, so many quilts, so little time. So I have my TARDIS needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Sugar, quit. Poor itchy dog. Poor thing. It's just, she's getting older and she just, she itches. Our dog Nikki was the same way the last couple years. All right, this one actually did get um, double dipped because one day it was uh, for Froggy. No, one day it was 50 stitches for Nano Stitchmo. The next day it was, might have been 50 stitches. This might have been the 50 stitch one for um, Froggy Bingo. So I think it got, I think it did get 100 stitches. So this is Never Give Up from Lizzie Kate on 18 count oatmeal Ada. So when I started, I just had make it and the bird. So I have almost happen now. And I'm not using the 930 it calls for, I'm using 3765. So yeah, half of that was 50 stitches and then I did another 50 stitches. So I almost have the word happen. My needle minder says never, never, never give up. And that's green for uh, depression awareness. And that's from Minding My Minders. Okay. This one I worked on yesterday. This was my Nano Stitch Mo 50 stitches. This is Little House Needleworks Needlework ABCs. This is the chart from Market this year. And this is on 16 count pink sand Ada. And it came with the classic color works that it calls for. It's just a long, narrow piece. So I had the word needles done except for the last line on the N. So I did this and the O and started the P. And that was 50 stitches. And my needle minder says one stitch, two stitch, red stitch, blue stitch. And that's from True North Needle Minders. Let's see, just over an hour. Well, that glue's dry. Let me go finish that. <sighs> okay. This is, this was another Nano Stitch Mo. This is Hands on Design, one of their Year in Chalk pieces, uh, January. I'm stitching these in the Called for Gentle Arts with, and a B5200 for the white instead of the chalk. And they're all on 14 count Black Ada. And I have an Olaf needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. But I had this line and part of this line. So I finished this line and came around here. That was 50 stitches. All right, this piece here was, this was a start back in October. Um, I worked on it again. I started this October 10th. And uh, yeah, because I remember showing that. So I finished the outline. I think I remember showing you this. But this was, um, we had a big number. It was two, 240. I think it was like the, one of the biggest numbers for Froggy Stitch Bingo. So I had to pick something that I could stitch quickly. So I pulled this out because since I finished the outline, all I have to do is fill in. And since I'm only filling it in with one color, it was easy and quick. So all of the fill-in there is what I stitched. And um, I'm trying to get as much of the variegation as possible out of the um, Karen Water Lily Silk, which is Budding Leaf. So that's why I'm doing every other line going down. Then I'll, when I get all the vertical lines done, I'll just go and fill in with the horizontals and get as much of the 
modeling as possible. So that's on, well, you saw the one piece uh, with the uh, black Halloween cat. This is the other piece. Another, it was a pretty big piece I got from Dying for Cross Stitch, of the 14 count Ada. So, but that's that. And my needle minder is Peanuts from the Everyday Stitcher. This one was for Froggy Bingo. I showed you the start I did on Snow Much Fun. I also worked on Please Let the Dogs Out. I worked on, of course, this is the last one. I worked on Snowed In. can't remember how many stitches it was, but I added a lot of the snow. Well, I say a lot of it. There's there's a lot on each, each piece. A lot of white. Okay. I pulled this out the other night. course I was trying to stitch late at night and I was tired so I didn't get very much done because I was I was having a heck of a time following the chart. This is Heaven and Earth Designs Kitten and the Rose. Just a pretty pretty piece and um, another one that has I think all of 12-15 colors. So this is on 28 count white Monaco. Two over one big piece of fabric. So I had about half of this gray done. So I did a few more lines of gray and then I moved over and did some of the black. And my needle minder is a Cheshire Cat from True North Needle Minders. Yes, honey. Yeah, I know it's getting dark, huh? Yes, honey. Oh yeah? You what? Oh, okay. Okay. One more thing to show you. Ow. I say one more thing. It's actually three things. So but these three things have gotten the most stitching this month out of everything. What, honey? It's getting dark. Yes, honey, I know it's getting dark. You should turn some lights on. Have Sissy turn some lights on. Okay, so this month in Stitch Mania, uh, the uh -huh. designer of the month is Little House Needleworks, one of my all-time favorites. So, I obviously I have a lot to choose from, but I went with Firehouse. And so far I put just about 200 stitches in this. Um, this is 14 count Delft Blue Ada. So, I had a lit I had this part here and this part here. So, I did all of this on the Firehouse. Almost have the top half of the brown done. And my needle minder is a sand Santa snowman, sandman, because my firefighter mechanic is a Florida boy. So any snowman he's made, well, then that's not true. He's made snowmen since we've lived here in Texas, because we've gotten snow a couple times. But for the most part, most of his snowmen were sandmen. Okay. My focus piece I talked about for Nano Stitch Mo that gets 50 stitches a month. I decided, or 50 stitches a month. Let's try again. 50 minutes each day. I decided it was only appropriate to go with my oldest whip, Cluttered Collection. I haven't worked on this in a while. And I'm enjoying it. I am I'm greatly enjoying it. 
So this is on 14 count white Ada. Here's where we are. So I think they need to go outside again. They're having problems. But, um, but uh, Laura mentioned something when I was asking for um, ideas on what I should stitch for the month. You know, she knows me very well. We stitch a lot of the same things. And she said, pick something that has lots of different elements to it. So if you get bored on one section, you can easily move to another. And you know what? This is, this is the piece. So, so far this month, um, I've been stitching on this blue cabinet. I had the first couple lines of blue done and that's it. So I have finished both sides of the top half of the cabinet. It only goes down this far because there's a doll sitting there. But I did all of that blue stitching down the side. I started, I did the shelves there in the center and then I really did get tired of the blue. So I easily moved on to back stitching. So I back stitched the basket of apples and the thimbles, thimbles. Those are not thimbles. Those are spools of thread, thimbles, fibro fog. Gotta love it. And I was able to do the back stitching on this part of the cabinet because there's nothing else that needs stitched around this part. So probably when I pull this out later, I think I'm going to move over to the checkerboard here because I just need to fill in these white blocks. They're a different color. And then I've gotten most of the back stitching done up in this area, but obviously the rest of this needs to be back stitched. And I was waiting because I hadn't finished the checkerboard. So I think I'll move over there tonight. Once I finish, got a little bit of, you can't see it. Got some black thread there to finish um, back stitching. But yeah, I'm going to move over to the checkerboard. But yeah, there's there's a lot of different areas I could go with this. So I think so far I first week down. I'm very happy with this piece still working on it 50 minutes every day. I'm keeping track of my stitch count too for every member counts in the ultimate cross stitch. And my firehouse is getting counted as well. Now I showed you all the pieces I've been working on for Froggy Bingo. Well, I've been I, I felt kind of bad because I'm one of their problem children. Um, poor Deborah and Brenda who put together all of the challenges and make all the badges. Um, you know, they have all those photos they have to scroll through to check on for your progress. I'm the one that makes their life difficult because I change projects all the time. And I started out with the Froggy Bingo doing a different piece every day. Well, that's a lot of photos they have to scroll through. So they had made a post about just that some of the older pictures had disappeared because they were trying to make it easier. And I decided to try to make their job a little easier. So I decided I would stick to, I would stick to one project every day for as long as I could. I can't guarantee I'll make it to the end of the challenge on this one piece, but so far I've been, I've, let's see, I worked on this on Sunday. This was my Sunday piece. And so I kept it for Monday and today, which I did the math earlier and I've done over 500 stitches because the last three days have been big ones for the, for the froggy bingo. I'm hoping for a small number tomorrow. Uh, but this is Prairie Moon, the red and the black too. Danielle Stitcherista did this and I just fell in love with it. So I had to stitch it. So I'm doing mine in, it's called the red and the black. I'm doing mine in the green and the brown. But this is 14 count Ada that I dyed myself. And I'm stitching it in bayberry and cinnamon from Gentle Arts. And yeah, I had... I had these two little, this little bit of green here done. That's all I had done. So in the last three days, I have done all of that. Isn't it pretty? I just started adding cinnamon today. So there's not a lot of cinnamon in that center section, but you can see just, just accents. Most of the cinnamon is going to be around that. 
and my needle minder is a blingy frog from Nifty Needle Nannies. So, hour and a half, all stitching, not too bad. I could easily do another hour and a half on Happy Mail from the last month. So, I'm going to leave that to another day, another video. I have needle minders to finish. So, say goodbye, Rupert. Like the orange arc. Anyway, I know it's, it's coming on towards the end of the year, so uh, my orts will be moved to a uh, to a Christmas ornament very soon. So I decided it was time for a new jar. So. Good night. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.